to all Radha Dasis. I think Kishori will start with the sharing today, is it? Yeah, I think so. How about the Suniti Didi now she is coming? Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's start or first uh, we need blessing from I was Niti Didi, I think. Yes, I'm so happy. <clears throat> <laughs> Sorry, I am late. I was in a, a car, car, uh, auto stau. Lade. 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 Traffic jam. So now I, I go back to the <laughs> inner consciousness. <laughs> We need Radha Jam. <laughs> <laughs> We just finished singing. So maybe we are now waiting uh, about the translation. The singing. Oh my God, you already finished. I was waiting for you to start. <laughs> okay. You want to do another one, Madhuri? 
Yes, yes, okay. Nice. Maybe I sing Maha Mantra with harmony. <clears throat> Hare 
excited, Adi. Very nice. Thank you. Adi, Adi. No, nice. The whole family. Excited, Adi. Prima Madhuri. And uh, your son is named as Joshua Ananda Madhuri? Yes. Nice. So I would like to welcome everybody and today we will start to listen from some nectar from Kishori Dasi from Japan. Dandavat to all our beautiful and sisters and brothers. And thank you very much, Sneeti Dede. So, by your mercy, now I'm here. I don't understand why I really, I'm here to share, but I understand Guru Dev is doing something. <laughs> because Guru Dev said to me, you should share something. So, I really don't know what I should share now because I don't have any realization. <laughs> of course, uh, uh, I live here in this world. I always feel something, of course, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't have any realization like uh, Another Vaishnava sharing. Every sharing is always just beautiful and astonished. But what I can say is what I witnessed in this Japan in these five, seven years, something like that. So, is this okay? This is not my realization, but what I saw in these years, I would like to share. Is this okay, this topic? Thank you very much. I think you are a witness of some miracles. So, we always like to listen to miracles. <laughs> yes. <laughs> just we are, we are just a witness. Manjari job is witness and do something, what happened and go there. And in this meaning, I'm very lucky. <laughs> so, Suniti Lili and another devotees also have a long relationship with Jayananda Maharaj. And I met him in 2014, I think. So many devotees know his life story. Yananda Maharaj wanted to stay in Vrindavan for a long time. He got a student visa a long time one. But our good dev Sadhu Maharaj said, you should go to go back to Japan and to share his realization. And at that time, he did the first class in Japan, I think 2014, one Ayurvedic school. This is Radha's mercy. I was this school student, <laughs> Ayurvedic school student. At that time, somehow I felt interested in Ayurveda. And, uh, I have very nice relationship with the headquarters of this Ayurveda school. Um, this headquarter of Ayurvedic school means, uh, you know, Jiva Institute, such an alliance. This uh, Jiva Institute, um, Ayurvedic branch headquarter is uh, Dr. Paltap Chohan. And uh, Japanese teacher, is good relationship and uh, I I am uh, one of uh, like uh, headquarter of student at that time. And the Japanese teacher Miss Mombu asked to me, so do do you feel some interest? One guy who is uh, doing something like uh, uh, 
she didn't know so much, but、uh, something like、uh, some soul. He can teach some soul and、uh, Veda. And at that time, this Japanese Ayurvedic teacher felt honestly. I think, so she said, I think not so much Japanese people like s Veda or souls. How do you feel? Then I answered this teacher, no, 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 no. I really need soul. I really need information of soul. Please invite this guy, please. This gentleman knows everything what about soul. This is a very important for Japanese. I felt I recommended this class. Then this Ayurvedic teacher f e e l some encourage from me. Then, okay, okay, if you say so, let's try. This is the Actually, first cross, class of Jananda Maharaj. And by Radha's arrange, I sit like a front line, then, and center of seat. <laughs> like, a, <laughs> I'm like a center, and I listen his, his lecture first time. This first class is、uh, maybe two or three hours. <laughs> At that time, this Ayurvedic teacher said, Jayananda Mahara, please don't say any name of Krishna. <laughs> like,、uh, if you say Krishna, maybe people feel uncomfortable with some uh, uh, specific ritual or something. And maybe it's too much Japanese people. That's why he tried to avoid to say Krishna, but t r y to explain the mercy of Krishna. <laughs>、uh, what a doing. <laughs> but I felt after two hours class, I understood. He knows everything what I need. This is a person I really wanted to meet. I did before Hatha Yoga also, Raja Yoga also, Karma Yoga also, and try to go to many business schools, like a coaching school, life coach also. Maybe many devotees have similar experiences. But just two hours I had his class, then I had a start. And he did, he knows everything. At that time, I did Raja Yoga so much. And、uh, this teacher of Raja Yoga said to me, every day, 15 minutes, like,、uh, what to say, this、uh, standing head, head standing, 15 minutes keep head standing. <laughs> Then you go to some realization of soul. Maybe some people have similar experience. <laughs> Do serious yoga. Do moksha. <laughs> Something like that. Then at that time, Jayananda Maharaj said, If you want to know soul means who you are, real who you are, just chant Maha Mantra. Smiling. Then, of course, I hands up. I have a question. I have a doubt. Then he kindly said, So, what is your question? I have a question. I did so much yoga. My yoga teacher h a v e 30 years experience and she h a v e some Brahma Jyoti experience. Then she said, a la 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 la. Then we tried very strict way to yoga. But you said just Maha Mantra chant. How possible? It's too much easy for us. I cannot believe it. Then he said, smile. Just do it. But I understood somehow, or、oh, maybe it's true. Then, after that, after this class, I called him. Sorry, I need your lecture more. Two hours is not enough. Then I catch him. I called him to near cafe, restaurant. 
give orange juice and <laughs> extra class we got. <laughs> and like this, after that, so somehow my soul understands. He knows everything what I need. Then slowly, slowly, I stopped to search another way to life, to wandering life. Then after that, this class, I went to Jandana Maharaji's house privately because this uh, official class is finished. But I need somehow more to know about Krishna and Radharani. Actually, he tried to hide Radharani because this order of mission of this Ayurvedic school, please don't say Krishna or Radharani, something like that. Of course, after Vrindavan, his heart is nailed to in Radha, but he cannot say, but hidingly somehow in front of me, he said the name of Radharani. Then I tried to search Google engine, who is Radha? Now many other information coming, but uh, <laughs> some, at that moment, so I cannot find so much what is the Radharani. My English is not good. Still now not good, but at that time more, much, much not good. I can't find Radharani and I went to Jananda Maharaj's house. At that time I met first time Jananda Maharaj and Karabati Mataji. And I didn't know, but Jananda Maharaj said, Kishori was the first student who came to my house. Maybe some relationship was happening at that time. And I talked with him, please share your knowledge and experience. I don't know, I don't know really what is the treasure, but I feel you have very important treasure. Then Jananda Maharaj said, um, I would like to share this Bhagavad Gita. And I would like to share this Chaitanya Charitamrita. At that time, there are no books, Japanese, because of course, Bhagavad Gita is very, very famous and we have some translation, but somehow he didn't satisfy about this translation. Then he tried to make his way of his um, Japanese and Bhagavad Gita translation and Chaitanya Charitamrita. Then I asked, what? Ch 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 Chaitanya something? <laughs> because uh, I have, at that time, I have ego. I know Yoga Sutra. I know some sutras, there are many sutras, but I didn't uh, had about cha 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 cha. <laughs> but he said this Chaitanya Charitamrita is the highest goal of life. Then I immediately answered, You should share, please. I will make uh, sharing occasion. Then I start to borrow seminar room in center of Tokyo. And at that time, I was office worker, and he also he was office worker. Then we can we did uh, every Thursday sangha in Tokyo. Maybe uh, some devotee uh, was there at that time. So I don't know what is Chaitanya Charitamrita, but I feel I need them. Like uh, one, one day is Chaitanya Charitamrita, one day is Bhagavad Gita, like this. Maybe twice a week we did uh, this Sangha. Bhagavad Gita and uh, Chaitanya Charitamrita parallelly doing. I'm too innocent. I didn't know so much. I didn't know so much, but uh, I'm very beginner, but I'm we are very fortunate at that time. So listening one day Bhagavad Gita and one day Chaitanya Charitamrita. <laughs> like a PhD and elementary school both. <laughs> this is Jananda's way. Jananda Maharaj always said he wants to share 
the ultimate goal as much as easy way. Shortcut way. Like a sad Maharaj always do. Not like this, but like this. This is the sad Maharaj's way. So Jananda Maharaj and sad Maharaj have the same nature in this one. And uh, from this occasion, um, Chaitanya Charitamrita became Japanese translation. Then, first time is maybe five, ten, fifteen students, not so so called devotee, just a student. Somehow they feel interest, and I make small website, free, free soft, using free soft, and sharing just Facebook and some emails. I start email magazine system at that time also, but not using system by hand. Someone who want to interest and I make Excel forms <laughs> name and this email and sending mail magazine by hand, like a BCC, you know. <laughs> And like 20, 30 people. And uh, every month, uh, Jananda Maharaj Raj start to written some Quran, some short story on this uh, mail magazine. And uh, he, he did his job and I did my job. So he have knowledge and experience, but he, don't, he didn't have the way how to distribute. Then I didn't have experience and knowledge, but I had uh, some uh, non-profit organization administration experience. That's why I I have uh, some experience to how to share this very not a professional way, but what I can buy hand do, do, do. Then Chaitanya Charitamrita come and uh, this Bhagavad Gita come. Then this Ayurvedic teacher said, maybe next step we should share this Shurimad Bhagavatam. Then Shurimad Bhagavatam translation also comes slowly, slowly. And uh, next year, I met Jananda Maharaj. Sadhu Maharaj uh, wanted to. Uh, Sadhu Maharaj came to Japan. And uh, at that time, so first year, Sadhu Maharaj couldn't come because of health issue. But I talked with Sadhu Maharaj by Skype. It's also interesting, Jayananda Maharaj have his Skype ID, but he didn't so much connect with Skype before. But I used the Skype system. That's why I talked with Jayananda Maharaj and Sadhu Maharaj by Skype. This is also um, my fortune um, because so this first time Sadhu Maharaj contact with Skype, I, I'm here and we organized how to make program this without Sadhu Maharaj, but it's already planned in Japan. Jananda Maharaj become instrument of Sadhu Maharaj and Sadhu Maharaj is giving class by Skype like this. So then Sadhu Maharaj come and, and next year really Sadhu Maharaj come. And after Sadhu Maharaj come, at that time maybe I arranged this Sadhu Maharaj tour also with our Murirula Babi. At that time I become best friend with Murirula Babi. <laughs> yes, I remember this story also. So Muridura Babi and uh, Sadhu Maharaj came to Japan together 2015. And uh, Sadhu Maharaj is uh, of course Guru Dev, but uh, Muridura Babi is uh, like uh, just like a so-called housewife. Of course, she's very high position and very special soul, but she's very cute wife and almost similar age as me. So we are going to shopping <laughs> and show what is Tokyo sometime. And of course, Jananda Maharaj, Sadhu Maharaj sharing and 
Um, little about me feels some tension. What should I do now? Then I sitting together and hold her hand. No worry, don't worry. And some take a relaxing. Ah, la, 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 la. And like this. We are traveling 12 days, maybe 12 days, something like that. At that time, so and Sadhu Maharaj and Murilu Rababi stay in Chavana's house. At that time, Dr. Chavana is very famous and she is very shy. That's why I cannot enter at that time. <laughs> Now it's okay, she opened her heart, but at that time, I don't have qualified to go there. It's okay. <laughs> It's all the story like this. But at that time, so she had, she also had a nice experience with Sadhu Maharaj. Maybe uh, next time, yeah, next occasion, Dr. Chavana also will share, should, should share her life story with Sadhu Maharaj and Muridu Dababi and Guru Dev's family. This is uh, my recommendation. Anyway, today's my turn. So, At that time, so after Guru Dev came 2015, at that time, we somehow we gathered maybe 40, 50 people, something like that, not so much. But at that time, Guru Dev, Sadhu Maharaj said, please come Vrindavan, then many people went to Vrindavan. <laughs> so I also went first time Vrindavan, maybe at that time, 30 people, something like that. Big number. I also have a first Vrindavan. I also have first Vrindavan. I met uh, at that time Sniti Didi also. And uh, I also have first time, but somehow I should organize because many number come to Vrindavan. <laughs> And I arranged, we arranged their gamusha <laughs> because their desire is going to uh, Radha Kunda. And this is also a funny story. Japanese people were so busy. This 20 numbers group, they need, they can stay in number only three days. Oh my God, three days. And one day night time come, and one day stay, one day stay, and the next afternoon go back to Delhi. But their desire is going to Radha Kunda. Then we are not sure we can take a days in Radha Kunda, but we should prepare a gamusha for 20 people. And Jananda Maharaji is also a nice, crazy person. If some, this And devotee come, they, uh, he want to always uh, take him, take them, Radha Damodara Temple and Radha Shamasundara Temple. Why? Radha Damodara Temple is a very important temple. Everyone, of course, you know already. Our Rupa Goswami is also here. And many, many people here. Our Srila Prabhupada's place is also there. At least uh, this Radha Damodara Temple and Radha Shamasunda Temple. Why? Radha Shamasunda Temple, of course, everyone you know, just four round uh, parikram. Then never go back again, this world. And uh, this uh, Radha Shamasunda Temple have uh, original deity, Radha Rari. This comes from uh, original deity from uh, Radha Rani by Shamaranda. And Shamananda Prabhu's mercy. These two temples, Jananda Maharaj always invited devotee as much as he can. Then we tried many uh, arranging alarararats. Like uh, for me, <laughs> muscle training, <laughs> devoting muscle training. <laughs> and <laughs> like this Radha uh, gave me like a sweet prison, <laughs> heavy trainings. I didn't have so much experience, but somehow I have to help him like this organized class for some these big trips also. And slowly, slowly, and devotee number comes up. 
but some point only few person come our sangha some monthly some months two months three months only i and one or only i sometimes a student but i respect jananda maharaj because he never gave up to continue class and karabati mataji never gave up to distribute prasad only few person they understand but uh, we cannot pay so much money uh, like a traveling cost alalala but they ke kept their devotional life and distribute mercy then back to himagiri dirike this is also one big change and back to himagiri didi once she met Jananda Maharaj, last time she shared this story. Once she met Jananda Maharaj, she felt, oh, he's a person who can change Japan. Then immediately she decided to go to Brindavan. And she decided to arrange Jananda Maharaj's class in her yoga center. First year is Bhagavad Gita. And the second year is Shurimad Bhagavata. Then what happened? First Bhagavata Gita came, and Chaitanya Charita Murita, we can continue to class them, translating Chaitanya Charita Murita, it's up to class. And Shurimad Bhagavata at that time stopped because this Ayurvedic class is only four times. We can translate only uh, first count of Shurimad Bhagavata, then finished. But this and Bhakti Himagiri Didi's mercy. So she planned two years Shirimad Bhagavatam class for Jananda Maharaj. Then he followed this schedule. Then we completed this translate Shirimad Bhagavatam full count in two years. Almost, this is the 18th volume. Almost every month, every month. <laughs> we made this translate, translating books. <laughs> Crazy. Even though we, Jananda Maharaj, also, I also just come employees or just office workers, full time job. And what I saw Jananda Maharaj's life, it's cra it was crazy. And from morning, maybe four, 3.30 or 4, he woke up and translated Shirimad Bhagavatam or some Shiroka Sarada. And after 6 a.m., we started uh, this Zoom Sangha. Uh, this is also a nice story. Before a COVID situation, we already started Zoom Sangha. Then, we, that's why we didn't uh, change sadhana before COVID and after COVID. We already started morning Zoom class and uh, evening Zoom class. So let's uh, return Jananda Maharaj's life story, uh, way of life. So at that time, he was a uh, full office worker. And uh, 6 to 6 30, he giving class every day. And uh, what I did at that time, I also sit in this living class room. And after um, finished the class, he started go to office. And uh, I started to go to drop box, means cloud system, <laughs> sharing this recording. And uh, I put it button and sharing. Now another devotee have to do this. That's why I didn't do it. But I made uh, this system. And uh, after that, giving class, so Jananda Maharaj left their home, maybe 7 a.m., something like that. And uh, he lives a little countryside of Japan, not so much city side. That's why he have a travel, train travel, maybe one hour or one hour, half, something like that. At that time, he translating uh, in train. <laughs> And I also have at that time train time, one hour, one hour and a half. I also checking, um, translating, editing book 
what he gave and I have in train also, like the same reason. And uh, after we get off train and uh, what we need to meeting, like uh, editing or sharing or photo event, a la, 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 little bit of chat if we have a chance. Then from nine, both of us go to company and normally company job. And noon time, so we have a lunch time, each company, but uh, at that time also we can editing. Otherwise we cannot uh, uh, catch the limit of Shurimado Bhagavatam. Bhakti Magiri Didi already scheduled Shurimado Bhagavatam. Please do this chant, this chant. Then we try to follow this reason. <laughs> so, then after that, company finished the evening, 6 p.m., something like that, and Jananda Maharaj returned their home, maybe two hours, something train, then again editing work. Then he reached his home eight. Then night prasadam, and little bit take a rest, and from nine, Zoom Sangha, and go to sleep like this. And I also almost same sadhana. Then, like, uh, we called Jananda Maharaj, and I called, this is like a cycling, <laughs> cycling system. <laughs> Automatically, sadhana and rhythm come. Then, finally, what happened now is, uh, now, over 40 books came to ja uh, Japanese. And, of course, Shurimado Bhagavatam, Chaitanya Charitamrita, Bhagavad Gita, and uh, Radara Sasudanidi. Virapak Sumanjari, Prema Bhakti Chandrika with translation. This Prema Bhakti Chandrika translation is also amazing book. Suniti Didi and some devotee get our incomplete English edition. Sorry to say, uncompleted. Why? So, because this uh, uh, Prema Bhakti Chandrika explanation is uh, come from uh, this Zoom Sangha, everyday Zoom Sangha. This is very good because every day 30 minutes morning, 30 minutes evening means one hour we are listening. And this one hour lecture, like a same as Prabhupada's system, devotee can dictation of this class, writing this class from recordings. Then automatically book come. This is the same system of Prepada and Jananda Maharaj did. And this Prema Bhakti Chandrika is also from morning lecture, everyday morning and evening lecture, one sloka, one sloka, his explanations and devotee writing what he said. Then this is only Japanese. And someday, someday we want to make English. Then this miracle Dashi, Priya Dashi came <laughs> and he tried to make English by his way. And he offered this uh, Jananda Maharaj that uh, we don't have so much time. So, and, but uh, somehow he didn't get any, um, so he didn't get anything to, uh, to say, but he selfishly, <laughs> He selfishly share in Vrindavan. We are surprised, astonished. But so I don't, actually, we don't know what uh, he write in English, but we trust it's okay. But anyway, like this. So this kind of books. Then in this just uh, seven years, I witnessed seven years. Then result is like this. Before Jananda Maharaj, and Kishori did just alone. Maybe Suniti didn't know well, very small, small. But slowly, slowly, number become big. Then now, last Brindaban, big Brindaban tour, 150 Japanese people came from Japan to Brindaban. Always Mandir is full of Japanese. And 40 books come. And our morning lecture and evening lecture is uh, membership is 150 people. And uh, this 150 people 
And many of people are yoga teachers. They have their teacher. Maybe um, chanting Maha Mantra people is、uh, at least、uh, 2,000, 3,000 more. Maybe 10, at least 10,000, I think. Now, this year,、um, Rada Dashi Publish Company c o m e This Rada Dashi Publish Company means like a Janana Maharaji follow. And p r a p a d a s way to keep book trust. But、uh, in Japanese legal, this trust system is difficult to tax and many rules and regulations. That's why we chose the company system, but the、uh, aim is the same as Shura p r a p a d And now, last time,、uh, Bura Jasundari did also share、um, to distribute Prema Prasada. This is、uh, just the mercy of Jananda Maharaj and Karabati Mataji's mercy and our sweet Vaishnava's mercy. And maybe so, Annapurana Didi also should share what is happening in Akita and her ex- life experience. Now she also started Prema Prasada <laughs> restaurant. Jai Shirade, my dear, it's so amazing what you are sharing, Kishori. Dasi. And I have some inspiration. I want to ask you if you can、uh, start to write this down, make a little book in the, for the future generations to come that you keep all your memories, how it all the, the Darcy revel,、uh, rev, uh, how do you say? The Darcy、uh, experience and the Darcy revelation started in Japan. I think it is a, 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 you know, a momentum of, of great joy. To hear how, how it be slowly s t a r t and now it's so you know, exploding that the、uh, Japanese people become interested in this deepest, deepest、uh, miracle of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's gift for all of us. So,、uh, thank you so much for sharing. I'm just a little bit concerned that others also can share today because we have almost two o'clock. and、um, It's getting late at your place. So, I want to suggest、uh, two things.、Uh, I would like to also、uh, appoint maybe Anapurna Dasi for the next Wednesday. And if, if you want to uh, maybe uh, wind up your story and then maybe make a second part also the next time. Because I don't want to cut your, your ecstasy because I see how much you are touched and you, I'm listening with big ears. But I just want to be also on, you know,、um, concerning the other speakers that we have uh, uh, the devotees also from the other countries because it's so amazing to listen to you, Kishori, and I want to hear more and more. <laughs> you are also doing the miracle, you're part of the miracle. Because, because so I see Sniti Didi's face. And every year I met you, and Sniti Didi, you are very close with us.、Mm. Automatically, I wanted to share with you what's happened, and because you also witness our relationships and、uh, expansions. Yes. And、uh, I'm, this is just the last sentence for today. I didn't.、Uh, I couldn't imagine what happened now. We were alone. But it is a true story. Thank you, Suniti Didi. You inspired me. And Please, yes, write it down. <laughs> write it down and、uh, let us have your, your feelings. And share your feelings more. Just I'm a witness and I'm lucky. Many, we, Bhakti, we need relationship and this circumstance and our sisters and brothers and my dear partner and Akaji also and Sweetie Didi also. I see everyone is no enemy now. Everything is just、uh, mercy, just mercy, just mercy. But I didn't have any relationship, but、uh, what I see.
see, then maybe I can share like this if you like. Thank you very much for a long time. I'm not a good genius, that's why. Very long. So beautiful. I could listen for hours. <laughs> I just have to try to somehow organize that uh, all the speakers that we have today have their Thank share. You. And so uh, please, um, you and Annapurna again next week for the beginning. And uh, that uh, the Japanese can uh, go to sleep if they want to. And if not, they will stay up a little bit more and get more excited and get more inspired here by the sharings. Thank you so much, Kishori Didi. You are wonderful and a beautiful Darcy. And let us uh, see that you write everything down. I think it will be good. I try. <laughs> because you are flooding in practice. Thank you, you. You, st you start to write like a diary. Yeah, maybe you have already a diary. Huh? <laughs> and keep it and put it together. It will be very amazing. In your old age, when your hair has my color, then you will have a big book. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. So, my dears, I want to now ask our Madhuri Bajania from Germany to share something about his life. Thank you so much, Kishore Dasi. Sorry for interrupting you. Is Madhuri still here? Yes, I'm here. Jai Ho! Jai Raja Raja! So, at first I would like to say <laughs> My obeisances to all of you, please. I, I need your mercy from all of you <laughs> because I'm not a qualified person and I know I'm, I'm a soul who's fallen here down in, the, in this earth consciousness sometimes. <clears throat> and Suniti asked me to speak today a little bit from my inspirations are a little bit of this my spiritual way and um, then I was thinking Bob what's really when my spirit really started in my life and uh, and then I saw I saw that um, so I think my first spiritual advice I got from my father because we were living in a monastery and working there and uh, my father was a technical worker in the monastery and uh, so and he said always to me okay my dear son i cannot make so much money like others maybe <laughs> but we have time for each other nice. and even when other parents can buy their children this and that and so and that but we have time for each other <laughs> and my father spent a lot of time for us children and my mother too and uh, we had a very nice atmosphere around us in a big park from a monastery a monastery with a little kind of temple i don't know how to say it in english uh so with a lake with a little lake inside and uh, so we were very happy every morning we were, we were hearing singing the monks and the nuns and so on and uh, i got happy really because of atmosphere because of the atmosphere from my parents they were never fighting they were always nice and really just in a moment, I could cry to them. They're not living anymore. I like to say, "Boy, well, my first, my first really love I got were, were my parents, and I'm thankful to them." Please, if you thank to my parents, if you give a little bit mercy to them, because the mercy of the Vaishnavas, of the Radha Dasis, are so powerful. This is really the best we can get. So this is really the top of love and uh, so uh, please uh, i pray to all of you give a little bit mercy to my parents and me and then 
I was living there in this monastery and I was very often thinking, wow, what is the way to God? What is my way? What is going on here on this earth? And um, so I asked the monks there, <laughs> And uh, as a child already, I start to ask, and they, but they had not the answers I really liked. They said, yes, we can pray to God and this and that. This is very nice, but they were not so really touching me. And then I was around uh, 28. I needed a lot of time. I was a wild, wild boy <laughs> in between. <laughs> yes. And then I got 28 and um, my 24, 25 and around, my spirit life started again from inside. I had to make Hatha Yoga and I had to, to search inside for my way. And then I started to make so much Hatha Yoga. Really, I started really, really every day, five, six hours because I had a doctor. He said always, if you need time, I will make you ill and you can meditate. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And this doctor was the whole time in my life. He was there for me. And he said, you have to meditate. It's no problem. <laughs> you come to me. I make you ill. Go in the forest, meditate and so on. And I was meditating very much up to the point I got a lot of inside problems. I really had so much problems. I had the feeling I'm burning by so much yoga. My nerve system was burning. I was really crazy. And I start praying to God and said to him, Oh, when you are existing now, please help me. I need your help. I did so much yoga. I cannot control these energies and I'm burning inside. And, and the next day, a person were coming to me with Bhagavad Gita in the hand. And he said, I dreamed from you. I have to bring this book to you. <laughs> I was so happy because when I took this book in my hands, I thought, there's, there are all the answers. I know. I feel it. And I was reading the Bhagavad Gita and by preparing myself with so much meditating and yoga, I could really concentrate my mind very good. And I was reading, oh, the Maha Mantra. You have to chant the Maha Mantra as much as you can. <laughs> and I started full power to chant the Maha Mantra. And so I, it used two days by full power chanting. I could have a very nice experience. Really, really. Thank you, Krishna. Thank you. And uh, so all my problems, all my problems got away by one hand moving of our Lord. Wow, I was so happy. And I had a feeling... So from to be fully free, free from fears, free from all the things, I was so happy for this mercy I could get in this moment. And my spiritual life with Krishna start. Directly, I was searching for uh, association with other devotees here around me. And it was near Cologne. And we, the first step, the, just in this moment, a temple started in Cologne when I had this experience. So, and I found this person in Cologne and we uh, were working there for the temple and so on. And Suniti, I uh, met there too, very often at this time. So, it was a very, very good time because we were in the first time in uh, the bhajans and singing very much for Krishna. So I was very happy that I found other persons who go, who, who walk this way. And uh, so um, after a while by chanting every day, my mantra and this and that. So I was, I took it very serious at this time. Even at this time, I'm not so good in sadhana like in that time. So sometimes, you know, I have my waves and this and that. But uh, in this time, I was very serious with my sadhana. Every morning, four o'clock and chanting up to, to six, seven, eight o'clock or so on. 
And so, so I was really fully inspired by the Shakti of Krishna and Radha. I was really, wow, I loved it very much. And um, so, after 10 years chanting, I had to go to Vrindavan. Because I was thinking something I cannot find in this association. When I do something wrong, they are very hard to me here. And uh, so, when I do something they don't like, you are not their friends anymore, or so on. And I couldn't surrender there to these masters or to this way. I had a lot of experience on my own way, and when I like maybe to have a friendly sharing with others, I got problems. That it is not possible to have realization and this and that and okay. Uh, then I start, I was thinking, I have to go to Vrindavan. How can it be? Before I was hearing, let's chant mantras for Radha too, and pray to Radha that you can come to Vrindavan. And then a friend, a friend of mine, called me that he likes to go to Vrindavan and he likes to take, uh, to go with me together to Vrindavan. And the time before I went to Vrindavan, Suniti was uh, visiting me and we, we produced a CD here together <laughs> in my studio. And Suniti and we had a nice, very, very nice time together. It was wonderful to have the association of Suniti and her brother in this time. It was really 30 years ago now. Okay, this is 30 years ago already. Is it right, Suniti? <laughs> yes, 30 years ago. And then I start by the mercy to have this association of Suniti. I, I got maybe some mercy really to go to Vrindavan. And when I came to Vrindavan, I was living in the Munga Mandir, uh, in the, um, Krishna Balaram temple, there in the guest house. And I was thinking, oh, today I have a little walk here through the streets to, to look for Vrindavan. And it was a little bit other time, 30 years ago. It was another feeling like now a little bit. And, uh, I walked there to the, to the, uh, ways and looked all the shops. And then uh, I saw a bookshop. And I was thinking, this is interesting here. This is really, really interesting here, this bookshop. And I went inside and then the, the shopkeeper there played the CD I produced with Suniti. <laughs> so my first time in Vrindam, I start totally crying. Totally. I was, I was sitting there. I was crying. I could hear this music we make together. In the first time in Vrindavan in a shop, and I was thinking, Rade, 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 your mercy is so kind, so lovely, so sweet. And I had to cry always when I was in Vrindavan, really. Every day something happened who was really so nice for me. I was so blessed when I was in Vrindavan. I felt like in the, in my spiritual home. I was thinking, this is the home of my spirit. This is the home of my soul. And Radharani is the mercy. She's giving all things that I can be happy and that I feel loved so much. And then I was meditating morning time very early in Balaram temple. And so I had, to, I don't know if it is allowed to share it, but I say it like, like it was. I saw Oh, in front of my eyes, Radha and Krishna are moving. What is here going on? They are dancing. Wow. And they, I hear the voice inside of me, outside is waiting in person or for you. So in front of the temple. And I went out and a little boy was there. And I saw only this little boy. Ne? And this little boy came to me and said to me, you have to meet my father. I think you have to meet my father, he said to me. This boy was the son of, of uh, Nandalal Parikh. He was living in Vrindavan at this time. And his, his spirit name was Saras Prem Manjari. And when I met him, when I met him, wow, I was so happy. And I was thinking, this is my first guru, my first real guru. 
And then I invited him very often in my home and he invited me to Vrindavan. And when we, when he was in my home, we were hearing every day, every day we were hearing six or seven hours Srimad Bhagavatam. Because his special thing was to, to, to talk about Srimad Bhagavatam everywhere in India and he made Bhagavat, Saptaha and so on. And so it was a wonderful time. Every day we had feast in my home for months, sometimes three months in one time, every day, Srimad Bhagavatam, five, six hours. And uh, so feasts and we were cooking for Radha and Krishna. And so we had a lot of uh, visitors who were coming and hearing Srimad Bhagavatam. I was so happy because to hear only spiritual knowledge about R Krishna and his all his games was satisfying us very much. And there was a time at the end of three months hearing Srimad Bhagavatam, I was sitting with my teacher, S Nandala Parikh, Saraspray Mandari, he was sitting in front of me, and suddenly a wonder happened. Really, a very, very deep wonder happened. Shukadev was coming out of his heart in a very, very blue, shining body in front of me. And then with his super soft hand, he touched me and I had the feeling to have the same body like him. I was thinking, what is that? Really, I was blue shining, he was blue shining, my Guru Dev was blue shining, they all was shining, and I had some really, really mercy for minimum a half year, if I was feeling so soft. And then I know what is the softness. From this moment, I know in my life, what is the sweet, sweetness of Krishna and his softness and his love. It, well, it's so kind. I, I cannot explain it really by words. Sorry that I tell it because I'm normally not qualified to tell, but I'm not a qualified person, really. I'm really a very, very fallen person. I not say it that I had this vision. I say it only oh, because of the softness, because of the sweetness from Krishna, really. And I was very thankful for this wonderful vision who who is called Bhav or so on, I don't know. But after a while, very much problems in all the associations with all the persons around uh, Nandala Parik started again, like same like ISKCON. When I sat in ISKCON, I have another teacher, I found a real teacher, I lost all my friends, you know. When I had uh, this deep inside connection, suddenly things happened. I lost all my outside friends always. I don't know why. But something happened very nicely that I had an inside connection with Paramahansa Yogananda. And he said to me, oh, this outside world is really changing so fast in this time. It's Kali Yuga starts and so on. And I'm a, I'm a devotee of Krishna too. And please, you are right. You are okay, Madhuri. I love you. Paramahansa Yogananda was in, was uh, astral, in an astral body in front of me and, and saved me and said, don't have so much pain, but please don't cry so much that you lost all your spiritual friends always. And I had this desire then to find a new spiritual association in my way. So, and so I couldn't find really good association anymore because there was so much politics around Nandala Parag and all this, I couldn't feel good. And then one day, Sadhu Maharaj came to Germany. <laughs> and the first time I met him, he said to me, Madhuri, hey, it's so nice to meet you. And really, it's possible that I initiate you, that you go away with me now. 
But I was not sure <laughs> at first. <laughs> I was thinking, oh, again, a guru, again, politics. Oh, no, <laughs> help, please. But when he came the second time to Germany, he was in Eitorf by Sudevi and uh, Saduma. When he came, I was two days with him. And every thinking I had in my mind, directly, he was answering. <laughs> For two days, every spirit question I have, directly, Sadhu Maharaj came in my mind and was answering all my inside questions. Not by talking outside, only by the association of him. I got so much answers. And when he was speaking and sitting to the public yeah, around, okay, and I had a thinking directly, his voice totally strong on me. <laughs> and it, it used two days, I was thinking, okay, this is my new really teacher in my spiritual way. And then finally at the end, I saw my own old uh, teacher inside of him, like a vision in front of me. And this was my answer. Oh, I found a new teacher. And I took initiation from Sadhu Maharaj. And now I like to say what like to say once. To make a service to such a teacher is the real happiness of the life. Because once I was in Vrindavan and Suniti said to me, please massage his lotus feet. Massage his feet. <laughs> <laughs> so it was such a lovely atmosphere. Suniti said it, please come and make massage here at the body from Sadhu Maharaj. And due to this work, from to the lotus feet of our Divine Master, so I got all these soft feelings again. <laughs> I got this really, really, really soft feeling from my heart. And I can say you, it is super to make um, um, the Seva in the mind is called um, um, Smaran or Manas is yeah. Seva. Yeah, Manasi Seva. I forgot the word in a moment. To make Manasi Seva, I think to our law, to our Guru Dev, and to Radha, is most important. I think. So I can only really say when we have a, a Seva every day, every morning, or when we are chanting to the lotus feet of our Master. <laughs> from inside or to the lotus feet of Krishna and Radharani. So I think it is awakening our spiritual body. I think it is awakening our spiritual realization and um, that you can start with the, with the loveliest, sweet little thing. It not, not, doesn't matter what you do. But I think we have to do <laughs> every day a little, a little service to our Guru Dev, to our um, inside uh, connections we have. It's so important. It's so important. Because I learned that we can can feel spiritual only in our body to a, due to a spiritual service to our teacher. And it is awakening the feelings to feel the softness and uh, experience in exchanging as a manjari or... I don't know, I'm really not qualified, sorry, sorry, sorry. 
but it's only my subjective realization and it's very little because when I read uh, Vilap Kusumanjali and I read about Rupa Goswami, <laughs> then we see it in a, in a perfection, you know, Even when you see Rupa Goswami, how he was in pain when he not saw Radha anymore or when he not s couldn't realize uh, that they are fully present, yes. Then he was thinking, maybe I, I give up my life, huh? But uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said to them, oh, this is not the way to give up your life here. <laughs> please, please, it's not the best. And Raghunath Das said to him, oh, I tried to do it, to give up my life one time too, because I couldn't realize uh, Radha and Krishna anymore. But then Chaitanya explained to us, this is not the way. We have to be in the sadhana, in the good seva. We have to go deep in our seva that and to, to have geduld, uh, to have um, passion, no, uh, patience, patience, to have patience, yeah, and to make our sadhana. And even now I have to pray to all of you that I can come on the track better, to make better sadhana. Because I'm a really fallen soul in this material life here, and I need, I need I need the, the mercy from all of you. And one realization by, by, the, by this oneness vision from my first master was really, I can get mercy only with all of you together. Never I get something alone. You can see in the Rasa dance, yeah? In the Rasa dance, when the gopis are thinking, oh, now I have Krishna only for me, then Radha is going away in this moment. She is running in the forest and Krishna and Krishna is has to go out of Rasa dance, yes, and is looking for Radha Rani. And all are looking in the forest and running. Yes, we have to do it for all of us. I hope that with this, with this simple realizations from me, with this very simple realizations, um, I can I can inspire you to serve the, of the lotus feet of our Guru Dev. To, to, that, to feel that we are together and one in the service of Radha. That we are all together in the service. And I think as Mandari Bhav, oneness is included. Because how we can speak about uh, uh, cut it and getrennt uh, and separation, separate from it. So to increase our uh, our uh, our um, love, it's very important to be separate. But in reality, I think from my spiritual feeling that we are serving all together. <laughs> And so, by the mercy of our Guru Dev, that I could once make the service to massage his lotus feet. <laughs> and I was involved through Suniti in this, in this seva. <laughs> I can be happy. And I can pray to all of you, let's serve the lotus feet of our Guru Dave. Let's serve each other with all our really very good qualities. I see when I hear all of you, when you are speaking and when you are making service and uh, saw you in Vrindavan, I see you are such qualified persons. Really, really. I have, I have to learn then Trinada Pisunichina. Yes, I have to learn this in that moment because when I see all of you, oh, I'm, I'm shamed. Yes. Because you are all so qualified that I hope I can learn from you. 
So this was a little, a little uh, things out of my life. And on on my way to find Radha and you all. <laughs> so that I only pray to all of you. Please give me your blessings that I can go on on this way. And that I am like the dust from the lotus feet, from all of you, really from all of you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Manduvi. Now we can understand uh, why your music is so heart touching. You put all your love and feelings and the softness of the lotus feet that you got printed in your heart by the mercy of your Maharaj, Shuka and Shuka, Sampradaya, and by the mercy of now Guru Devi, who is a Dasi with the softness of Srimati Radhika's lotus feet, that uh, you have all the blessings in your, in your feelings, in your voice. And thank you so much for sharing with us. It was so beautiful to listen. Thank you. I, I'm very proud of you. You are one of my best friends and oldest brothers and sister in this life. And I pray that we can have much more of your sharing and association and especially also your music and your sharing on, on our Adadasyam and the music. Yes, whenever I can serve, I'm, I'm ready. And um, so... I'm really not the best servant. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm so unperfect. But maybe when you sometimes or, or when you pray a little bit for me too, that I can go deeper, I can make my, my better steps and uh, to really, really, I'm, I was always so free from my childhood. I realized only to be to be in a free feeling, yeah. And when I was so much chanting sometimes in my uh, time, then I tried to chant 64 rounds every day for weeks. The, the answer I got was, Oh, Madhuri, with your willpower, you get nothing from me. I was really so smashed after this long time chanting that I couldn't chant anymore for some weeks but I got some mercy <laughs> okay I got really mercy to find you all <laughs> and our Guru Dave and really this is the best for me and with the willpower I tried before to make business and I was so unpure in this way to get God only for me so, ah, oh, and now maybe I can, I hope by your mercy that I can get step by step in better sadhana now, yeah? Please pray for me that I can get better sadhana, that I can do it better, in a better way. Thank you all. Thank you all of you. Jai Shri Radhe, so beautiful. Radhe Radhe, can I say something to Madhuri? Yes. Mary, my dear, you are my teacher. You, when I came to the Bhakti way and I have answers, uh, questions, <laughs> you gave answers. And every time when we um, come together, it gives me with your soft and your clear words, it helped me. So I thank you so much. <laughs> thank you very much, my dear. My brother, my big brother. Yeah. yeah. You know, if you have oh, yeah. if you have the ears for that, then I can I'm inspired to you to you. <laughs> Thank you. Danke. Danke. Thank you. So have have a wonderful time with the next sharing. Thank you all. Now I would like to invite our dear Sunanda to share. 
because I just got a message from Krishna Kirtan from Poland, our dear uh, uh, genius who is always doing the classes and the Kirtans online. He doesn't feel so well today. So I ask him, get better and pray for him that he will be better soon. He will share next Wednesday maybe. So Nanda from Italy, are you still there? With us? You mean Sundaram? Oh, Sundaram. Sorry, sorry. Yes, Sundaram. Sundaram. Radhe, Radhe. Radhe, Radhe. Radhe, Radhe, Sundaram. Would you like to share uh, something from your heart with us? Where is your picture? Yes. Okay. Ah, there you are. I, Jana. I can try. <laughs> Please. We are so happy that you come and Guru uh, uh, loves you so much. He said, Sundaram, I want to listen my Sundaram. Thank you. Um, I want to ask uh, Saranagati see if she can help me with the, with the, the translation. So I speak in it. Comunque ti aiuto. Ti do qualche suggerimento se ti serve. Ma scusa, tu puoi parlare in inglese, tanto in italiano ci parlo io. Va bene. C'è anche ragione. Se, se lasci la stanza, così io sono un po' più libero di Vai. parlare. Eh? Mm -hmm. so, Va bene. Io vi ringrazio tutti. I thank you all. Per, per avermi accettato in questa... To have accept me in this fantastica ed elevata famiglia amazing and high family e so di essere uno sciocco insignificante I know I am full and very low with no meaning ma parlo solo perché me l'ha chiesto Suniti Didi and I speak only because I've been asked by Suniti Didi so Posso condividere I can share la, la mia piccola storia. My little story. Circa sei anni fa. Almost six years ago. A quel tempo volevo solo morire. At the time I felt like I only wanted to die. Eh. E la notte in cui un mio carissimo amico lasciò il corpo. And the night uh, one of my dearest friend left his body. Venne, mi venne in sogno e mi disse di smettere di fumare. I dream, he came to my dreams and he said to me I had to stop smoking. Ci rimasi molto male, ma eh, perché... Eh, non me l'aspettavo. Poi uh, I wasn't sì. expecting that and I felt a little upset and disturbed. Poi quando ho saputo che aveva lasciato il corpo, ho deciso di seguire il suo consiglio. So when I knew that he had left his body, I started following his advice. Quindi smetto di fumare e anche First. di dormire. So I stopped smoking, but I also stopped sleeping. <laughs> Così inizio a leggere tutti i libri che ho in casa. So I started reading all the books I have in my home. I had in my home. E tra questi avevo la Sri Sopanishad di Srila Prabhupada. And among these books I had the Sri Sopanishad by Srila Prabhupada che mi dà una speranza. That gives me hope. E, 
Qualche giorno dopo ero in una sala d'attesa di ospedale piena di gente. After a few days I was in a hospital waiting room full of people. E viene un sannyasi, un devoto vestito di arancione, viene dritto da me. Then this devotee dressed all in orange came towards me. Mi dà un altro libro di Prabhupada. Eh, uh, And he gave me another book from Prabhupada. Il sentiero della perfezione. Uh, the, per, non so come in inglese il titolo. The path of, the of, path of perfect, towards of, perfection. Yeah. E mi dice di, di leggerlo e poi di andarlo a trovare nel suo ashram. And he tells me to read this book and then go to his ashram and uh, meet with him. Quindi io lo leggo. So I read this book. E leggo anche la Bhagavad Gita. And eh, then I read Bhagavad Gita also. Lo Srimad Bhagavatam. Srimad Bhagavatam. Il Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu. And Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu. Che trovo nella biblioteca del, della mia città. The, uh, all these books I found in the, my town's library. E quindi eh, comincio ad avere il desiderio di, di associarmi con persone che che sono al dentro dell'argomento, ecco. And I start feeling the desire to have association with people that is, is on this way. Quindi ero deciso ad andare nell'ashram di questo devoto che mi aveva dato il libro di Prabhupada. So I made, made this decision to go to this ashram uh, where the, the devotee who gave me those books Um, was living. E parlandone con un amico, lui mi dice: eh, Guarda, che conosco una ragazza che è pazza di, di Krishna. And uh, sharing this with a friend, it, this friend of mine tells me that he, he knew a girl that was crazy for Krishna. E mi dice che. Eh, si incontrano tutti i sabati a Terni. And he tells me that they meet every Saturday in Terni. Quindi io vado lì, mi presento. I go there, I introduce myself. E ho subito la sensazione di essere a casa. And I felt immediately home. Perché mi accoglie Bhakti Prema. Eh, I've been welcomed by Bhakti Prema. Eh, Atula e la Atula, la Siamai. Eh, Sanatani, Sanatani Ramananda. Yashoda. Yashoda. Eh, Purnima. Purnima. Eh, addirittura io vado a stringere la mano a Ramananda. I go to handshake with Ramananda. E lui me la butta via. He throws away my hand. E con un sorriso così grande. And with a dice, big, big smile on his face, he said to me. Abbracciami. Give me a hug. <laughs> so, <laughs> grazie alla loro misericordia. E thanks to their mercy. E la mia vita era in salvo. My life was saved. E quindi questo è l'inizio della mia vita spirituale. This was the start of my spiritual life. E grazie a loro. Thanks to them. Ho avuto la fortuna di conoscere il mio maestro spirituale. I had the great fortune to meet my spiritual master. E, e tutti voi. And all of you. Che mi ispirate continuamente ad essere una persona migliore. 
you you all inspire me to be a better person. E spero tanto grazie alle vostre benedizioni. And I really hope through your blessings di poter diventare un bravo studente. To, to become a good student. Delle di tutte le indicazioni che ci dà Guru Deva. To follow all instruction given by Guru Dev. E, e anche voi tutti, perché ascoltandovi. Eh, And from all of you, because listening to you. Si, si ha sicuramente un grande beneficio, una grande crescita interiore. We can all have some benefit and grow inside from inside thank you to all Sorry. thank you so, scusate di farvi perdere tempo con le mie storielle sorry if i made you lose some time with my little stories thank you so much love it Spero di essere riuscito a tradurre nel modo giusto su un dramma. Bravissimo. Thank you, Sundaram. So beautiful. You are really Sundaram. Sei veramente Sundaram. Das. So, so beautiful. I was missing all the Italian energies in this international Radha Dasi conference, so I also uh, want to thank Sharanagati for coming and translating and maybe uh, you all can inspire more devotees from Italy to come and share because with translation it is also easier, huh? Yeah. What do you think, Sharanagati? Oh, you got off, uh, okay. Yes, it would be very beautiful. I think uh, the motto of this uh, conference is that uh, we are sharing our, our life or our feelings and our, our hopes and aspirations for coming into the service of Srimati Radhika through all the Vaishnavas, through Gurudev's mercy and, of course, Radhika's mercy and inspiring each other. And Gurudev said, I want to relish. Because usually he is speaking and we are relishing what he is sharing. And this one day we are sharing and Gurudev is relishing the feelings and the expressions of our heart's uh, way and what we feel to each other and how we are in the process or how we pray to each other is very heart touching and every one of us has a special speciality like unique contribution a unique contribution of love so now that uh, for today was the devotees that that i knew they would like to speak and i want to ask if anybody would like to share something on what we are sharing now Can you please say anything that you, what you feel like you want to add anything or thank anybody in special that you have felt something during well, the Jai happy. Gurudev! Yeah, very happy. <laughs> We are on here. You see? Yeah. We are out of money. Ah, oh my God, full house, Sai Radhe. Oh, beautiful. Oh, nice to see you all. Dhanavats and big hug, big embrazzo. Radhe Kishari, Lagu. Oh, you all there, Radhe Radhe. Ah, oh, you're so beautiful. Radhe Radhe. Radhe. Radhe Radhe. Radhe Radhe. 
Hey, Reda. Hey, Shama. Beautiful. Nice. Full house, na? All das is Mangala. So are you all relishing? Ah, Madhuya Rati. Rati. Oh, who's this copy? <laughs> Radhe, Radhe. So beautiful to see you all. So, Gurudev, you are relishing. Are you relishing, Gurudev? Oh, yeah, very nice. Very good. Very good. Very nice. Kishori, Japan, very nice. My Madhuri is very sweet. Very sweet. And Madhuram also very nice. Very nice. That you select from every country one speaker. <laughs> Very nice. Thank you. This should go. How much are there? Can you check how many are there? Fifty four people. Fifty four. Fifty four. Yes. Fifty four. A good number because here in the Germany or in Europe it is in the middle of the day, Gurudev. It is a, a weekday and many are working and still they are coming to listen so and share. I'm feeling very uh, happy that we can meet. Yeah. Well, Gurudev, what do you want to share with us? Share something. What was your meditation this morning? Did you read Radha Ras Sudhaniti? Yes, Radhe. We were reading Radha Rasa Sudha Nidhi yeah. and we came out to the 200 verse. We complete 200, that thing was 200, 201. And it was about Sudha Ratri, dedicated to the world. That Prabodhananda Saraswati in his Pinkri Swaru, seeing the shining of Radha Rani's body increasing when she finally meets Krishna, who is a little late. And she has the experience that she is so devoted that that starts shining from inside. And then they have a beautiful Leela in the Kunja, and Manjari is watching that. And next word, she is cleaning the kunja and singing sweet songs of their past signs. And Radha Mohan, they are relishing outside, sitting little, catching some cooling breeze. And again, their desire for love making increased by listening to the sweet song of the mandarin. was cleaning the kunja. That was the morning. Right, Gurudev? The point is there, yeah, the point. When you meditate in Radhi, you say to the No, no. To explain the word. There was one sentence in the purport of Anantara Bhavaji. And as I remember, it is said that no. the gopi uh, who is endowed with Mahabhav, their mind and senses are also saturated with Mahabhav. And difficult word is endowed and saturated. So the meaning is that somebody who has Mahabha, also their mind and senses are drenched 
with Mahabhav, like his body is full of water. There cannot be Mahabhav, but to close this Mahabhav. I can explain. Why? You want to start explaining? No, no, I cannot. I cannot be a Mahabhav. But when we are associated close with Mahabhav, then my mind and my senses uh, that both I do remember to be saturated. It's saturated with Mahabharata. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's it. Then mind and sense is not working for themselves. They are like a sponge. They influence so much that that my senses and mind would not work working with false ego. They are merged in that. They sponge all the juice of Mahabhav, and they cannot go out from that. That is meaning of psychology. Fully soaked, huh? Fully soaked. Yes. yes. So senses are fully soaked, and the mind is fully soaked. So this Mahaprabhupada say in the Bhagavad Gita 1314, that when the mind and intelligence become the friend, fully show. My good wishes, thank you for my meeting. Have a week. I listen, but I don't come out because of that you, somebody will not open them. And the process, we move like a snake. Slow, steady, even steady. So, when there is a the steps, we have to go on with the steps. But what is the higher step when we reach to develop my spiritual life? When we reach to realize myself, we want to go inner peace and inner life. And the spiritual development to identify myself. When this is done, then I come out, out from the ring of steps that the Dhamma. My salute bring us for the right place, no diversion. Takes time, but when it comes, our life, our life become more successful. Yeah. I want to thank say you. Good day for blessing and thank you all Sorry. for this sharing. And want, yes, say I something. Ask, I want to say that it's very inspiring to listen from the devotees. That makes like a real connection, feeling connected to each other. And the stories, the life stories of the great Vaishnavas are very inspiring for us always. Mm -hmm. But even our brothers and sisters and ourselves, we also experience many miracles in our spiritual life. How we was uh, pulled more and close to Radharani, not by our endeavor, somehow by mercy. Reading one book meeting one person, 
like, and I want to encourage everyone who is not speaking today, maybe in the future, share something small. Some miracle in everyone's life happened, and we are relishing so much by listening to small miracles of everyone. So I want to encourage everyone to, who is a little shy to share something. We are really appreciate and we really relish that. Thank you. Yes, fully, fully, 108%. And please, uh, if you want to share, then please contact me or write a note on Radha Dasyam. We are always eager to listen from everybody and to get new, new, new inspirations and love sharings. Thank you. Radhe, Radhe. 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 Radhe,